Hey everyone, what's up? Mirai here and welcome to another IS Boxer video. In this one, I am going to be talking about swap groups. So what are swap groups? Sw swap groups are a collection of regions that are assigned or dedicated or contained to a specific display. Now, uh, there's, pro there's, there's probably a lot of reasons why you might use something like this, but unless you see it in action, you might not be able to think of something and how it uh, might work with your particular setup. How I have used uh, swap groups in the past is I did a uh, something like, what year is it? Some probably like early 2014, like over two years ago, I did a 60 uh, account multiboxing stress test. Uh, I'm showing that on screen now. And you can see that I've got 20 uh, regions per monitor. And what that is is it's, uh, it's, it's dedicating those 20 uh, game clients per display um, in this particular instance. That was a lot of fun, something crazy that I did, but I used swap groups to do that, right? So um, I'm gonna be showing how to set up something much less intricate than that, but the basis on how to get started with that. So in order to do this, uh, it's probably easiest if we just use the wizard. So we're gonna use the wizard for this. So uh, let's jump into the wizard here and we've got a three, monitor layout okay i guess that's fine so along the left hand side here, we've got this swap group option now if you highlight it and you click this button over on the right you can get this collection editor um but this is not really a very friendly way to edit this uh, information so uh, alternatively you can just click the little plus sign next to it and it has this drop down for uh, display numbers and some values here now these values are uh how many regions should be assigned to that particular display. So with a five slot character set in this example, if I go two and three, um, of course the, the wizard has a pre-generated list of layouts that it will show you. Uh, the first few layouts when you scroll through this list are not gonna be swap group enabled, but as you move further down here, you'll start to see something that looks like what we put in uh, value-wise here. So there's two regions on display one and three regions on display two. and the way that this works is region one and two will only swap with each other on display one and regions three, four, and five will only swap with each other on display two. So if you need something like this where you want maybe, uh, for instance, your tank is in, in um, region one and your healer would then be in probably region five, but uh, obviously if you swap three and five, five gets to be the bigger region. So you can have your healer on a big screen over here and your tank on a big screen over here and you can see everything that you need to see. Um, maybe if you were doing something like that, you could do a four and a one. So if we come down here, we scroll through these. So something like this, where you could have a tank in slot one, your DPS in two through four, and your healer would stay static all by itself here on display two, uh, full size. Uh, and one, two, three, and four would swap with each other only on display one. Now, the, there is a, a problem with this particular layout because these two regions have a different size. We'll talk about that in a moment. I just want to show how a um, three monitor layout could potentially be used. I was going to say possibly, could possibly be used. Um, so we've got this here, right? Two, uh, two regions on display three, two regions on display two, and one region on display one. And again, two and three are only gonna swap with each other over here. Four and five are gonna swap with each other over here. And one is gonna sit here all by itself and not move anywhere. But the problem with this is when you turn on mouse broadcasting, because this region uh, and essentially two, four, and one are all main regions. Uh, therefore, they set the rendering size. So two sets the rendering size of three, four sets the rendering size of five, and one sets the rendering size of itself. But unfortunately, it's larger than the other. So if we, if we get through this here, we go into the window layout itself, we go into the region editor, we can see, you see those colored borders again that you saw in the uh, original example on how I used swap groups before. But the colored borders indicate um, which swap group those particular regions are in. And if we just look real fast over on the swap groups tab, let me, I don't know, come on, buddy. <clears throat> So you've got this drop down for eight different swap groups. If you need more than eight, you're gonna to have to talk to Lax, I guess, and have him add more than eight. There may be a way to just enable more than eight. I'm not sure. Have not seen that requested yet at this point in time. So maybe you can be the first to request more than eight swap groups. But anyway, uh, as you 
go through the swappers, you'll see that the border color changes. So three is yellow, two is red, and one was white. If you want to change this color, you can just click this here. If you're really looking for that, that golden rod or the, um, that pale turquoise that you just absolutely adore or that deep pink that you just have been looking for, you can change the border to those colors if you so desire. But anyway, uh, back on the regions tab here, there's two ways to fix this, right? Well, the problem, again, is that mouse repeating, when broadcasting the mouse cursor, you move below this point down here and you go off the screen of these other regions. Because if we click on region one, it'll populate the information. If we click on any region, it populates the information over on the right. Otherwise, there's a little drop down up top here that you can select the region. But if we click on region two, we can see that its size is 2560 by 1080. We click on region one, we can see its size is 2560 by 1440. It's got 360 additional pixels in its height, right? So if you're mouse broadcasting up in this area, everything's gonna line up just fine with these regions. But when you move down here, again, it's just gonna fall off of this region and every other region because everything else is rendering at 2560 by 1080. So the easy way to fix this, the very easy way to fix this is just make region one the same size. Um, and you can just change that here. And now it's all going to work together and work great. And this is the way that I recommend fixing this problem. However, if you're stubborn, if you're absolutely stubborn and you need to have this, you need to have this region be full screen, um, you can still make this work. You can still make this work. If you come into your repeater profile, you generally only have one repeater profile, so uh, just click on that. You'll see cursor positioning mode. And there's two options here for scaled to fit. Now, I would, if, if you're gonna go with the scaled option, I'd probably recommend from center. But if that's just not working out well for you, you can use from upper left, uh, from upper left corner. And you could try both of these out to see how well they work for you. Um, while they're very, very accurate, assuming your uh, window sizes and aspect ratios are fairly similar to each other, these are very, very accurate. However, they're not 100%. So if you're really trying to get, to, if you're mouse broadcasting, you're really trying to get that pixel perfect click going on on maybe like a menu or a, a button somewhere, you're not going to get it. I mean, if you're configuring UIs across all of your game clients and you're using a scaled option, you're probably not going to get to everything mirrored perfectly. So just keep that in mind. And that's why I recommend leaving it as a normal option here and just sticking with, uh, whoops, and just sticking with keeping it the same size. So you'll see it actually, you can just drag it, it'll snap into place. I don't know, sound effects included. I'm not sure if you guys can see that snap happening, but it's happening. I swear it's happening. So those are swap groups. Those are swap groups. And um, hopefully you can find something useful in your window layout, your setup, and how to use them. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mirai out.